Okay, what we're going to do is going to pan out some Georgia Concentrate here. I just take about a quarter cup or less of good cons, and to that I put it into my pan. The thing to do to wash off the saprolite clay and stuff is to go ahead and give it a, a good rinse or two. You can see this is pretty clean. There's very little silt coming off of it. I'm going to go ahead and dump that off so I don't pollute my water. Now I come to my panning tray, and I'm just going to go back and forth and agitate it and keep that material nice and unfrozen. Circular right, circular left, back and forth, making sure everything goes to the bottom of my first ripple. Now I'm going to gently, in kind of a figure eight pattern, walk off some of that lighter rock. Okay, now I'm going to resettle all the stuff again, just keeping it moving, let gravity work its way, go down to the bottom. And now I'm going to, nice little figure eights, going to keep working that rock off. You don't want to shove it, what you want to do is let the gold stay where it's at. You can already start to see some light, small flakes of gold in the black sand. Now I'm going to resettle it again. And now a little more carefully, I'm going to wash off that tan sand and a little bit of black sand out to the top. You see it's in the first couple ripples. Now I'm to the point where it's clean enough to rotate the pan around. So now I'm using the smooth side. And I'm going to resettle the gold to the bottom, tapping against my knuckle a few times to help it get down there. Then I'm going to gently wash until I see the first specks of gold get about halfway out of the pan, then I'm going to resettle every time. So a little bit of light panning here. You see all that gold at the top. I see a few specks right down here that aren't moving yet. There's one right there. almost lost it. I'm going to resettle it. I'm going to very carefully keep washing, like one grain thickness, that black sand, out. There's another piece of gold. Keep trying the gold direction. Until about this point. There's a lot of gold in here. I added some fine gold just because I didn't know how much is in these cons. So now I get it to the backwash and tap. What you do is you tap it here, get it settled. Now you take the tip of your pan and you put it up slightly and you're slowly going to backwash that black sand real slowly away from the gold. And you can see here, I'm going to pull this black sand out of the way. Now I'm going to start tapping. And what it's going to do is it's going to drive that gold. You find a little piece, push it back to the top, up to the top. Now this is some really rich stuff. I'm going to get the first stuff and go back and pan it a second time. What you can do is break it apart a little bit and really carefully, you know, we'll get the first part, then we'll get the second. There's a lot of gold in here. Slowly keep moving it around. get that black sand. Now watch what happens when I tap. I'm just going to just pull that gold up out of the black sand and keep piling up the top. Gently wash. Tilt the pan down a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. I'm going to pull this down here and just slowly wash. I'm doing this a little more aggressively just to try to keep it in a, you know, a reasonable video length here. I'm going to keep moving that gold apart. Slowly washing most of this black sand out. I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Pretty hard sometimes. Oop, got a little wash there. And there you go. you got mainly gold right there. So now I'm going to tip the water forward. I'm going to get my snuffer bottle. I'm just going to suck all that good stuff up right off the bat. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little more water back in here. And I'm going to do it over and over again a couple times to get the, the gold out of the black sand. Tapping it with my finger here. You just about the right amount of water, just about that much. Now we're going to do some backwash and tap. We want to go very slow now as we keep getting it down to the finer and finer gold. Just keep tapping and very slowly backwashing. I see a piece of gold right here trying to get away. Just push it back up to the top. That's why you got to have some little scratches on this pan so the gold can keep grabbing onto the black sand. Now here I'm just slowly using a nice even backwash. The tip of the pan is up maybe 10 degrees, just enough to give it a little bit of elevation. But I'm going to keep tapping here. And what's going to happen is the black sand is going to want to run off to the bottom, and the gold is going to keep getting grabbed onto the scratches and keep pulling. There's a few getting away. We'll get them later. But you can just see what's going on here. I just keep doing this several times. 
There's a couple of round pieces of gold wanting to wash. That's okay. Now I'm just going to keep tapping. See how the gold just comes right up into the smile there? Now I'm going to do is squeeze off some water. Suck it up again. And then we do it again. Like I said, I'm going very fast here. I've got some black, coarse black sand. I'm going to wash off a little bit more black sand until I see the gold starting to get away. Like right there. Resettle it, tap it against my knuckle. Now it's time for backwash and tap one more time. And I'll just keep doing this over and over again until I get all the gold out. The key is just the right amount of backwash, just barely going. Not the big swirls left or right, that just makes a mess. Straight up and down. Get that little rock out of the way. That's just a piece of gold. Yeah, there's a piece of gold. I'll stick that piece of gold up right there. Claim it back. And uh, we're almost done with the demonstration. Backwash and tap. Every time the gold starts to roll away, then what you can do is just tap on the right hand side and see how it pulls the gold right over there out away from the black sand. And I'm going to just wash that black sand away and squeeze the bottle out carefully. Suck it all up. And if you can take a picture of that, there's all of our gold in the bottom of our snuffer bottle and we can do a final cleanup later. So that's an example of how to quickly pan out some cons and how to separate fine gold from black sand. Go ahead and stop it.